Hello everyone, welcome back to some more Banjo-Kazooie. In the last episode, we did this level. And I don't even want to say its name. You see it, that's what the level is. I'm not saying it. We finished that level. And in this episode, we are going to go to the final level, actually. The last world of the game, and I'm, I'm excited for it. Now I know I said that level was going to be a level that was going to bother me, collecting all the notes. This level might also be annoying the next level because if I die in this level it might be worse trying to collect all the notes again it was just the sheer size of it I'm not looking forward to dying in that level but hopefully I don't because it's not as hard but uh in the level that we just did we got a jiggy and it's just it's just right outside not in a weird spot or anything much of a little doodads around. Uh, going back here, and there's some other secret stuff in here we can check out. don't really remember what's in here, though. I just get up here. Ah, oh, there's a switch to raise the water up. It raises up to the note door, which leads to the... Yeah. Actually, it leads... I actually don't even know why it's getting raised up. I think it's for something outside, because you can always just go back through there. But um, I don't know where the door is. <laughs> actually, what does that do? Actually, oh wait, oh there's a secret. Oh, all right. Well, there's something up there, so uh, might as well go grab that. Oh, oh, I made it just in time. Oh, that's great. What's up here, actually? Oh, Cheeto's up here. Cheeto Bear and Bird have found once more another spell they get. If one more page I see you turn, then Grunty shall Cheeto burn. Nasty witches, so cold I shall tell. Enter gold feathers on sandcastle floor in treasure trove cove. Okay. I should probably put those codes in. But I haven't done them yet. Oh well. I probably won't put them in, because I, I, I don't know. I don't use Cheetos codes in this game. Just keep going back. So let's go and unlock the final world, which is in a really weird spot. Like the painting that you need to activate to actually get in there. It's not in a spot that you would think it would be in. Because usually if it's a later world, you go, you know, further into the uh, Grunty's castle to unlock it, but not here. Instead, you gotta go all the way back. Which is strange. I'll show you where, too, exactly. So let's go back into our ding pot over here. I'm actually using the ding pots for once. The first time ever I ever used the ding pot. I should use them more often. And um, also behind this ding pot here is a mumbo token. I picked it up because I remember seeing it every time I would use the ding pot. You would even see me use the ding pot because I would always just cut back to it. Because nobody wants to see me run all the way back. But uh, here you want to see me run back. Go up this ramp back into uh, where you entered Treasure Trove Cove. If you remember all the way down here, some water you can go into. Just swim right through here. And the uh, thing will be here. You can see it. Right up here. It's in a... Actually, I don't have the pad open for it. Right. I forgot I have to open it up. But this is where it appears. I forgot I have to go open up the thing. So, looks like I'm going all the way back again. Okay. Well, back to the door I opened up earlier. The 640 note door. I forgot I have to go through here, and I don't think I can... Actually, I don't even remember. I think you just gotta avoid all this crap. I think you're supposed to actually use the Wonder Wing to get through it. It breaks everything. Yeah, that works. It works, might as well. No, uh, we got our old friend the Bull. We haven't seen you since Mumbo's Mountain. I think that's the only enemy in this game you can't actually kill. 
just knock him out for a while. Get right up here. There's another note door there. I can actually go to the end. But I don't think I have enough jiggies to actually make it to the end. I think I might. I don't know. I don't remember. But I believe you have to go down here. And you have to open up the, uh, the, the thing. Oh, there's a mumbo token right here, actually. Grab that. I think I might have enough mumbo tokens to actually make it to... Alright, to get the yeah, transformation for Click Clock Wood. Oh no, spoiler, I said the name, but whatever, it's Click Clock Wood. Most of you probably know that by now. And if you go right here, this is a nice little picture, and this activates the Jiggy switch, so I can put Jiggies into the painting. And now I have to go all the way back. But first, let's talk to Rentilda. She's here. I've got like elite grunty guards now. Look at them. Let's talk to Bruntilda real quick. It's been a while since we've uh, spoken to you. Gruesome Gruntilda's favorite pastime is bursting boils. Interesting. This poor guy called Dirty Birdie was her first and only boyfriend. When she was younger, Grunty used to have a greasy warthog as a pet. Okay, finally, all the way back here. Before I hit that, let's grab this mumbo token that I saw in that cutscene. Are we going to get lucky? Is there going to be another Mumbo token? No, Bruntilda's back here. Let's talk to Bruntilda again, because <laughs> she's here. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Cauldron Butt at Witch School. Okay. I also know that sweaty gorilla feet is her favorite smell. I don't even know what that would smell like. And the old hag's favorite color is ghastly gray. Ooh, your poor dears, your energy's low. Thanks. Y'all come back now. But, uh, let's go and fill up this painting. The last... No, not the last painting we're gonna fill up. I think there's gonna be one more. But here we go. Click Clock Wood. The last the last level of the game. I'm excited. Definitely more excited for this level than I was the last one. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> and guess what? I'm gonna cut back to, uh... To where we were when we hit the switch. Because it's gonna take a while to walk back. Yay! Okay, finally, I'm all the way back here. I wonder how much time I've spent just walking back and forth. Because I keep forgetting how to play this game. So, oh wait, hold on. I think there's a mumbo token back here. Or nothing. Oh, thought there'd be a mumbo token back here. Oh well. Well, here we go. The final level, Click Clock Wood. Probably the biggest level in the game. I probably mean 100%. It's an interesting level. It starts off pretty interesting. I think you're in a hub world. And they have the four seasons here. There's a spring door, there's the summer door, there's the fall door, and then there's the winter door. So the first door you want to go in first is going to be the spring door. But the only way into the doors is you have to find a switch. So each world's going to have their own switch. Uh, obviously in the hub world, it's pretty easy to find the switch. You just go right here and hit it, and then the spring door opens up. Here we go. In the spring world, there's going to be a summer switch, and then the summer switch is going to be a fall switch, and the fall world is going to be a winter switch. That's how it goes. Start with spring, go to summer, go to fall, and then winter. Now, I believe that each one of these worlds has a specific... They have a specific, specific amount of notes specific amount of jiggies, and they also have little things you have to do in each world so it'll affect the next season. So, uh, yeah, just to get that out of the way, let's get, let's get started. I always love the music in this world level. The spring version of Click Clock Woods is probably my favorite. I guess most people will probably agree on that front. So anyway, welcome to Click Clock Woods. Big level. A lot of cool stuff in it. Ah, oh, jeez, I just don't really remember where to start. All the leaves are going to be small. Water's going to be nice. Let's just see what the hell I'm supposed to do. A lot of stuff to do, and just stuff I really don't remember how to do. Let's talk to this beaver guy. Somebody move this boulder. 
Naughty can't get in his house. Uh, I can't help you right now, Naughty. Because I have no way of destroying that bolt for you. At least not at this moment. So instead, let's just walk up here. Also, this is... <laughs> I actually really don't remember how to play any part of this level. Uh, also, just knock down into the grass. I'm going to get some rusty bucket bay. Oh god, I said it. I said the cursed land. I'm probably going to get flashbacks of that. Why you just kill some birds and they just die? Also, I don't remember where the honeycomb pieces are in this stage. Now that I'm uh, playing this right now, I really don't remember where the hell they are. Now, whatever. I think I know where one of them is, but it's not in this season. The honeycombs are out of season for this, uh, this world. Just gotta make sure you gotta look everywhere, because I don't know how many notes are in each season, but uh, you really want to pay attention and just look in every spot. Because it's gonna be annoying to backtrack to try and find all this uh, stuff. It w just tr tr trust me, it will be. Especially if you're playing this on the N64 like me. Because then, you know, if you die, you have to collect everything all over again. And we know how that went out. We know how that played out in the last episode. And that wasn't fun. It wasn't fun for me. It could have probably been fun for you, but for me, hell no. It was not fun. These birds, though, are pretty annoying. Uh oh Get back up there. Gotta just make sure to look around. I don't know what's down here. There's another bull. I'm gonna be seeing you more often. Uh, whoa! Ouch. Uh, right over here, I think I can plant... You're supposed to plant a seed here? It's kind of dark. But, uh, there's a little hole here. You're supposed to crap three eggs into it. It's always three. No, probably more. Five? Four? Four? Five. Okay. So crap five eggs into uh, that hole there, and then a seed will, or a flower will grow, and then just keep that there for now. You don't really need to do anything else with it at the moment. There really is nothing to do with it at this time. So no need to worry about that. I don't think there's anything over here. I think it's just that honeycomb piece that just fell from the, uh, the dude. And these guys... I think I don't think you can hurt these guys. I think the only th way to get whatever that's inside of them is you have to use a golden feather for it. I think so. Uh, I don't know. I think you can attack it in a weird way, but I don't. I don't remember. I couldn't really tell you. But I, the main draw of this whole place, besides the season changing, is the tree. This big, beautiful tree that we're walking on. There's Mumbo's hut over there, but we'll go there later. I don't need to do it right this second. I also think Mumbo's transformation is only available in the springtime version of this stage. So, uh, yeah, you don't have to really worry about transformations in any of the other parts. It would have been cool to see, like, different versions of a transformation in this stage, but now nah, you only get one. It's not. It's a. It's a pretty cool transformation. I, I do like it. Let's just keep going. I just want. I just want to get all the side stuff first. Cause screw. If I die, then you know I'm gonna get upset. <laughs> I get super upset, just like I did with Rusty Bucket Bay. Cause man, it's just irritating to collect everything again. <laughs> it really is. This is a bigger level, so it'd be way more annoying. Uh, those little leaves, you can't really jump. You can jump on them, but I don't think there really is a point to be jumping on those leaves because they're too small. Over here, the mumbo token. A lot of mumbo tokens here. I don't know what else is here. There could be like a weird little thing hanging off the side. Uh, actually, this is the way the mumbo's hut, so. If you don't want to wade through the swamp, you can just go over here and jump on top of his house. 
And then there's an extra life over here. Am I really going to risk my life for an extra life? And who cares? I'll probably lose it anyway. Careful. As for the difficulty in this stage, it's not as hard as Rusty Bucket Bay, at least in my opinion. It might take you the longest out of all the levels, though, just because there's a lot to do in this level. With all the seasons and all that. It might take longer if you die, unless you're playing the Xbox version, which, you know, I've already stated like a billion, trillion, quatillion times that, hey, you know what? It's not that bad. The Xbox version, just play that. You probably won't rage as much as I did in Rusty Bucket Bay. Uh, there's a beehive there. Or wasp nest, but we can't go into that because that hole is too small. Trust me, I've tried. And then we'll just go over here. We jump across this that we did in Clanker's Cavern. All levels are connected in some way. It's cool. And right over here, there's a unfinished bird's nest or birdhouse, I should say. Grab another mumbo token. I think the spring world, there's not a whole lot to do in it. At least compared to the other ones. I think the other worlds have a bulk of the uh, jiggies and notes. But there's probably going to be a point where I'm going to be missing a few jig or notes. I'm going to be like, where the hell are they? I would keep track, but I really don't <laughs> have any way to keep track right now. But uh, right up here is the summer switch, so let's hit that. And we unlock the summer door. Pretty cool. Very nice, very nice. Right here, I think this is Mr. Nuts. Chomp, chew, nab nut like acorns. I'll just eat a few more. Nab nut. He likes acorns. He's a squirrel. He's not funny alcohol squirrel, but you know he's he's just a normal ass squirrel. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in Nabnut's house except for Mumbo Token. But uh, it'll it'll change once the uh, once we get into uh, different portions of this world. Uh, I don't think there's anything else over here. I think you can jump on this. You can go up here. Uh, I can't really go up there just yet. Red feathers here. Gonna be doing some flying later on. It's gonna really suck if I fall. Hopefully I can land on a platform. There might be a moment where you can fall and then it's just like it's over. That's the real difficulty, it's just if you fall. Not really difficulty, it's just like, man, that sucks. Uh, there's a jump pad here. Let's go on top of this egg. Looks like Bubble Gloop Swamp. Warg! Me eerie, mighty eagle. Need sleep now. Born with a diaper on. That's a thing in uh, Rare Rare games, if I, I've noticed. It's like in Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, there's a thing where you have to, uh,. You hatch a uh, dinosaur out of an egg, and it's born with a diaper on. And then this eagle's born with a diaper on. That's, uh... It's not usually how things work. <laughs> I mean, hey, when, you, when, you're, when you're born, you're not born with a diaper on. You're born, and then, then you get a diaper put on you. Actually, you get a blanket wrapped around you first, and then the diaper comes later. Or start pooping and peeing and all that other gross stuff. Okay, this is <laughs> part's gonna bother the shit out of me. This platforming part, little, little, little far away jumps. Um, there's a Jinjo right here. He's just <laughs> he's just standing there, completely fine. There we go, gotcha, buddy. And then there's a house here or something here. There's a door. There's a door. Break it open and see what's inside. Uh bunch of stuff. There's a Jiggy in here, actually. Get him out of here. Dun, 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 barrel, dun, 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 dun. Nice. Uh, I don't know if there's anything else in here. There might be, like, a note somewhere. 
There's an extra life. I don't really care. Do not care. I do not care about the extra life. There's just a jiggy in here. I think there's, I think there's only like two jiggies in this in the spring level. All right, now I got to do the ever so impossible task of going back down. So that's gonna be. Oh, I got said my heart just like dropped. I thought I just fell. If I fall, I can always fall into the water. I don't even know if I'm above the water. So, not even gonna take a chance. Not even gonna take a chance. I can try to drop down there. There we go. Gotta play it easy. Gotta play it cool. So let's go over to Mumble's Hut now. Some sleep. Oh, it's eerie. I don't think there's anything on top of Mumbo's hut. And I think it's all swamp, so you be careful down there. But go inside Mumbo's hut. And hey, what's going on? Yeah, only 25 this time. Not bad. Right up here. Right up here. Right up here. Please get up there. <sighs> Can I just jump up here? Yeah, it was way easier. <laughs> Way easier. Grab these eggs. I don't think there's anything else in this hut besides the eggs. But let's go into the transformation. Let's see what we get this level. Rutabaga! We get a bee! Mumble magic. Much good. Bee is best yet. Yeah, so we get a bee. So the bee is pretty much infinite flight. So if we ever hit a flight pad, we can just fly forever. That's that's pretty much it for the bee. You just fly around. There might be some stuff around, actually. I think there's a point in this level. You have to go really high up. Yeah, all the way up here, there's a jiggy. I don't think these traps hurt the bee. I think. I don't remember, actually. I can just get up there. That'd be great. He's a little hard to steer. And again, just so it's like normal flying. There's no way to like just drop down easily. But the plants don't bother with the uh, the bee. What I do want to go though is I want to go into this bee nest here. As the bee, of course. Right down here. Go right inside here. Bzz. Hello, fat little bee. We Zuba Zubas are guarding Grunty's golden honey piece. We've been told there's a honey bear out there. Actually, I think you do have to come in here as Banjo. Actually, I don't even know if you can get it. I don't know if you can get it right now. Actually, I think only the yeah, I think only the bee can actually come in here. So you're gonna have to come back in a different season to come and grab it. I think. Because I think this hole is too small for you to go into. As Banjo. Sorry, Banjo. You're just too fat. And I think that's it for the spring area. I don't really remember. I mean, I do remember something. I just... I don't think it was here. Uh, it could be in a different um, season. I think it's up here, but I think it's in a different... I think a honeycomb piece is, like, on that branch. Just in a different season. Yeah, whatever. We'll, I'll, I'll, I'll go back to it. I think that's everything here. I don't know. I might have to scour the levels again. When this is all over with. Just to make sure I got everything. That's the problem with this level. You just gotta... You really gotta check for everything. But, uh, for now, let's just move on. I'm probably gonna end it before I go into summer. And the bee is only available in the springtime, which kind of sucks, because you think in the summertime it'd be available too, but surprisingly it's not. But I think if you fly here, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff up here you can, I think there's stuff up here you can grab. Or there could be nothing, I could be wrong. Nah, uh, actually there's nothing up here. I think that's a, that's a missed opportunity. You could have had like a, I don't know, like a Mumbo token or extra life up here. I guess the Mumbo token would be kind of useless. Can't really use them anymore, but eh, that sucks. 
So, uh, I think I'll end it off here. I am... I do have a lot of time on my, uh, recorder. So, uh, next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we're going to go into the summer portion of Click Clock Wood. I'll see you guys next time.